Yoritsa. I'm not gonna lie. At this point, I'm not even gonna predict who's next. The fact that Yodoichi legit got her character trailer dropped right now, and she only had like one second of screen time within the first debut of Rebirth of Souls, like the trailer alone. Yo, I'm sorry, Chad, but yo, it's time for Yodoichi to shine. Ain't no way. They just dropped the Yodoichi trailer just like that. Not to mention, yo, this, yo, Yodoichi is gonna be fast as fuck in this game. This woman is literally a master at Shunpo. Oh my God, let's go. Look at her, yo, she is fresh. And can, yo, I ain't see this since on uh, Soul Resurrection. It was a projectile, but she can use that thing as a, um, as a parry as well. What the hell? You can't catch me. Yo, no, why was she swaying like that as a counter? Yo, pop the Shuko. Let's go. <laughs> pop the Shuko. Nah, yo, she looks so fucking fresh. And her movement changed. Yo, she fast as shit. Nah. Yo, the Weechi really come in and rebirth the souls. Ready to take names. I'm gonna need that. She's gonna be the best counter for any zoner. I don't care. I don't care. Yodoichi alone is gonna be the best counter against like Byakuya and freaking uh, Uryu when it comes to zoning because Yodoichi is fast as fuck and she has a kit that allows her to mess around on the field. Nah, let's let's really talk about it. Like that's some real stuff. Signature move, okay. Anken, flash breaker. I haven't seen this move since, uh, me personally, I haven't seen this move since uh, Soul Resurrection, but it was used as a projectile. In here, you can put it in the inputs, but if you hold it, yo, the Weechi can literally pretty much do a little, yo, she sway. Like, yo, she literally did a sway. Nah. Well, a spin. But still, if you hold on to the uh, input for Anken, she just sways. That shit is real. Literally leaving anybody open for an attack. I'm glad that she has a projectile so she don't have to get too close in because, again, you're going to have characters like Byakuya who can use Simbo Zakura to literally stop you from getting close. Uryu is another thing as well because Uryu is honestly keep away. So the fact that she has a kit like this, Anken, it, it, she needs it. She really needs it, in my opinion. Regardless how fast Yoruichi is, she can use this for her advantage to either go for an offensive approach or literally play dummy. But then again, I don't know would it also work for projectiles as well. That's another thing. This is only working for hits from what we've seen with Ichigo. I don't know if, I'm pretty sure Byakuya is still work for Byakuya because Simbo, Simbo Zakura is literally a hit. It should still count as a regular hit. Uryu, I don't know. That's gonna be, uh, like, I feel like she could spin away for Uryu's arrows, but she won't be able to get up close like that. She'll have to play mind games with a Uryu. This right here is honestly a long range rush attack, obviously. Now the question is, does she have like invisibility in order to, um, you know, how fast can she go into the state in order to get a hit off of the opponent? Because it has a follow up. It's the same thing with freaking, um, how can I say this? I feel like it's the same with Ichigo's on uh, his special mood, the flash, uh, the special flash. But I don't know, like it doesn't even showcase even on the description that it's invisible. It's just the fact that it's a long distance rushing attack. So unless unless if you hold it, you get a little bit of invisibility frames. But from startup, it looks like you got to be real careful using it. That's just me, because again, you have characters like Byakuya who can honestly just hit you out of there. Now, if Yodoichi could literally just, when she initiate Bako, and it gives her that little bit of frame to literally rush in, okay, cool. Because right now, it doesn't seem like it's invisible. But again, I don't know how it'll be if this game, like if there's a demo for this game, especially if it's showcasing like Yodoichi. Oboro Neko, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Why is Yodoichi, why is she styling like this? Why is she styling like this? Nah, she is actually styling. That is crazy. Now, the thing is right here, you gotta be real careful because how they were showcasing it with uh, Yodoichi, Ichigo did not, Ichigo was not even ready to attack. They just popped it just like that thinking um, they could hit Yodoichi. It's a, it's a big 50-50. You gotta time this counter really, really fucking good because if you don't, I promise you, you will get opened up. And not only that, I, I don't know if it's only used against attacks because we don't know how grabs are gonna work in this game as well. Cause I'm pretty sure there should be grabs, but it's a nice counter in my opinion. If you could catch them at the right time, just pop that thing just like that. 
literally, you're good. But I really like how she's like showcasing the after images. Like she, uh, <laughs> like she lowered her guard down and then she's like, yo, let's get it. It's time, boom. They're really showcasing how these characters are supposed to be played in the arena fighter. Like, dog. Oh my God, bro. This is like a remaster or remake of Bleach Heat the Soul from the PSP. I don't know if y'all remember that. Oh my God. And then we got the Awakening. She popped that motherfucking Shunko. And her movements, I don't know if this is her base movement, like her basic attacks, but she's a lot faster. So I, like another thing too, since this is an arena fighter, because in these trailers, they're not showcasing how fast they're moving around. That's why I'm just hoping that um, in the future, maybe, uh, I don't know if Gamescom is a thing uh, going on soon or whatnot, but any future uh, event within 2024, they showcase more demos for Bleach, Roberta Soul. Because right now, for what I'm seeing, they have a good chunk of characters that nobody know that they already finished. Because again, I'm thinking it was gonna be Chad or Renji next. Byakuya, okay, Byakuya. After Byakuya, I thought it was gonna be either Chad or Renji. But they literally showcased Yodoichi, and I'm just like, bro, Yodoichi literally only had one second of screen time in the debut trailer of Roberta Soul. And here she is with a whole character trailer. Like, what the fuck? It, this shit is wild. And I already know a lot of people are going to use Yodoichi. I don't even think Yodoichi is going to be toxic in my opinion. Because honestly, you need a character like Yodoichi in this game. Yodoichi is honestly one of the fastest characters in the Bleachiverse. Like, she is literally the master of Shunpo. Like, <laughs> like, the fact that she's in here. And yo, in my opinion, yo, Yodoichi, legit, I'm not even trying to glaze. It's just, when it comes to anime women... And we go straight to Bleach, Yodoichi is literally the main queen. I'm sorry, dog. There's Rukia, there's Orihime. Yeah, I can say Rogiku or whatnot, but yo, Yodoichi, one of the number one contenders when it comes to women of Bleach. She is literally one of the queens of anime. I don't care, bro. <laughs> so the fact that she's literally in here and she's styling like this, dog, nah, the animation when she pasta Shunko, I, I can't get over it. Like, this shit is, this shit is gas. This shit is gas, in my opinion. Hamsoft is really doing their best to showcase how they want to create a Bleach game. But I really just want to see actual like demo gameplay of this. The same way how you got Spark and Zero out here with the um the demo builds at these events or whatnot. Like, I'm not sure if, it's, if Roberto Souza is going to get that treatment, but I hope in the long run, as we get um to the closing of 2024 and then to the beginning of 2025, we start seeing playable builds. Bandai is literally doing uh, every Monday a new Bleach trailer. And this honestly feels like watching Bleach all over again. You remember back then? I think Bleach was coming out Monday back then, if I can remember. But like Bleach Mondays, dog, you wake up early just to see uh, a new episode of Bleach. They're literally doing this with Roberta Souls, and I'm loving this, dog. <sighs> Man, but yeah, Baco again with Baco. It, it, it's a 50 50. I got, I want to see how this acts in terms of actual like attacks happening because Ichigo didn't do nothing. She rushed in pretty good, but I just want to see if the visibility is actually active when she activates um Baco because, yeah, sure, it says it's good for counters and closing the gap, but me personally, I just want to see how it will look in game. So this, seeing Yodoichi like this is only giving me hype to see how they're gonna do Chad. Listen, I only say Chad because I really, really, really want Chad to look good. When it comes to the anime and to the series, they always do my man Chad dirty, okay? So the fact that Rebirth of Souls is looking like a really, really good arena fighter for the Bleach series, I'm praying. I'm praying Tamsoft give that man justice. Chat needs it. I'm really trying to slide in somebody's DMs and hit them with the La Muerte. Like, I need that shit, dog. Like, I just need to whisper in somebody ear, hit them with the La Muerte. Like, dog. With all that being said, oh, some real stuff. If you guys enjoyed the video, honestly, yo, just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Yo, we finally got Yodoichi. I know all the fanboys and the fangirls. Hold up. Yodoichi got more fangirls than fanboys. I'm going to be honest with you. But, like, Yodoichi makes her appearance in Rebirth of Souls with her very own character trailer and man dog all right man yeah i'm gonna start i'm gonna start glazing before people be like oh these bleach these bleach lovers are glazing their game <laughs> listen we're just happy that we got a new game and we got developers that's actually putting hard work into making this game okay again with all that being said this has been your boy Eternal oblivion and i am signing out peace
push me to the end. Push me to the end. Push me to the end.